Exactly. All right, let's get to the bad. Speaking of free stuff and something that is public that oil companies are destroying, namely our global and national ecology. But it looks like it could be something that will be uh, not good. Believe me, not good. No good. Really bad for you. <laughs> not good. Not good. So the, basically, there is a leak in the Keystone uh, pipeline, uh, and it's affecting a large part of the country. And new reporting suggests that it's almost 10 times worse than initially thought. Um, let's play a brief clip. Yeah, David? Ten, and it's, it's 10 times worse than uh, TransCanada said that it was. Right. So they've been covering, and this happened a few weeks ago, the, the spill. Right. So they've had this, you know, they've been sitting on this for a right. long time and have not released it to the public. Um, and it just came out that it's 10 times worse. And I mean, right. the kind of environmental <laughs> degradation that we're seeing from this company and their absolute failure to provide, like, look, we're against the pipeline, you know, in the first place, but just to like run a functioning pipeline. They've been completely unable to do that. So all these lies about how clean and safe this was going to be have been proven wrong over and over and over again. And it's destroying, um, you know, a very important environment, a part of the country that sits on a massive watershed, too. Right. And probably nobody's going to be prosecuted for that. Well, some people will be prosecuted for that. Yeah. Look at this. At the same time, there's this article in the uh, Guardian, Keystone XL, police discuss stopping anti-pipeline activists by any means necessary. I mean, not that we didn't know all this, right. but... Reveal Guardian's records show it. law enforcement has called demonstrators possible domestic terrorism threats. Not the folks that are actually damaging. Not the folks, no. The folks that are trying to ensure that their families and their communities have clean drinking water and arable farmland, law enforcement is targeting. So, you know, usually we go in a kind of media critique direction or, uh, you know, and I mean, look, there is there is a comedy in the absurdity and just, the, you know, the yeah. pure dishonesty and the pure, you know, capitalism of all of this. But this is obviously very serious. And this is something I mean, uh, Keystone and uh, the Dakota Access Pipeline are two of the first things that uh, Trump muscled through when he came in. And by the way. They, uh, oh, this should have been stopped on day one. Obama had to be struggled against and fought against. And, right. and the Democratic governor of Wisconsin just signed a bill helping criminalize protests against oil pipelines. So the cl classic example of Republicans are, are accelerationists in terms right. of pure oligarchy and destruction, but Democrats have been enlisted across the board by the same interests because ultimately the problem is one of capital, not corruption. We taught you guys touched on this earlier, but you, the connection between capitalism and like basically a um, mobsters, right? right? And the way that they just they just don't care. They're gonna lie. Yeah. It's gonna be about three weeks until people figure out how much worse it is. And yeah. like as long as you can just like uh, stultify the reaction to it, that's all they're looking to do. Yeah, and the right. ten times worse that needs to be verified as well. Right. If it's right. Only, if it's only ten times. Right. Precisely. Yeah. Right. Um, Listen, as yeah, uh, the late Julius Nyerere of Tanzania once said, the world would be such a better place if the U.S. actually had a true multi-party system. Right. You know, he said, when it comes to global economics and the rapaciousness of monopoly capital, Democrats, Republicans, different sides of the same coin. Absolutely. You just watched a Michael Brooks show video. Subscribe to get them all. Why wouldn't you? Don't be foolish. Click subscribe below and become a patron as well. Patreon.com slash TMBS. Thanks, everybody.